Good morning, everyone. Today we are back here in the US. We're in Fort Lauderdale in Florida right now. And we had no plans to come back here, but the main thing that happened was my MacBook died in Peru because of like corrosion. Somehow water or humidity got into it and it completely died. And in South America where we were before, it's super expensive to get a new MacBook. So while we're making our way to Europe now, we decided to stop here for a few days to get some electronics and gear. And we also made the most of it to get new backpacks. We got these Ospreys here, Daylight 40 liter. So as you can see, we kind of ditched the backpack now because roll-on's a lot easier. Yeah, but these ones, they also have backpack straps. So like you, a hybrid. Yeah. So that's a good thing. And I think I'm, we're gonna like it a lot to see. Yeah, it seems good so far. So we just got that like 20 minutes ago. And we're gonna be staying in Miami, Miami Beach, where we stayed a few months ago. We only came to Fort Lauderdale because it was the only place that we could pick up these backpacks from the store. And we're gonna be checking out the US high speed rail. So this one is called Brightline. So we're going from Fort Lauderdale to Miami. And I think a few months ago, they started it from Orlando to Miami, like a new line. And you're the price woman, so what are the prices? Yeah, so for the regular fare, it was 29, but uh, we saw that the premium fare was 37. So we decided to get that since, since it's not a big difference and we can get some snacks and some things that we're gonna show during this video. I think it's more comfortable too, better seats. Yes. And, uh, but I think that if you buy like in, with a few months in advance, you can get cheaper than that. I'm not sure how much, but if you really want to buy like the cheapest price, you need to buy it like a few months in advance. And we just noticed that they have an airport shuttle. So yeah, I guess if you bought tickets, you can get like a free shuttle or maybe you have to pay extra. I don't know. So we just bought our tickets online, but I guess if you don't have tickets, there's a little system here. Looks nice and modern. There's some cool painted maps too. So that's Fort Lauderdale, where we are. And then we head in here, Miami. These are some of the things that are included. Alcohol. And I'm gonna get a Samuel Adams winter lager. How to not pour a beer. <laughs> Since I had no hands gum holding the GoPro and doing that, I couldn't tilt it. They also have other options here. Sodas, waters that you can get. Beer's looking a bit better now that I did it properly without the camera. Cheers. Cheers. Back in the US. Man, that is one real nice beer. Samuel Adams Winter Lager. Yeah, I'd say that's one of the best beers that I've had in a long time. They also have snacks here available, so it's not just drinks. Quite a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. Really good food options. Yeah. Yeah, like little cakes, things like that. Oh, I'm gonna get one of those. I think that's an eclair. Carol's getting her money worth. Lunch time. Lunch time. <laughs> This is a really spacious walkway. Probably the most spacious walkway I've ever seen on a, on a train. Yeah, definitely impressed with the inside of this train. Might be the best train I've ever seen on the inside. Yeah, yeah. You said you're comparing to an airplane, but it's, it's better than an airplane. Definitely. Less like claustrophobic. Yeah, and, and the seat, like really good. I always like when the seats have these little edges too, where you can rest your head more comfortable. And check this out, so they have like a little mini thing that you can pull out just for drinks like this. And then obviously the big one like Carol's doing. And then here you also have the chargers too. USB and normal chargers. So 
from what I read online, this train can go up to 125 miles per hour, but I think it's kind of rare that it goes to that speed. That's actually a problem in the US with high speed rail. They have like high speed trains, but I think the infrastructure, the train tracks can't handle the high speeds. So a lot of the trains can never really hit that like max speed. They also have one that goes from Washington DC to Boston. I think that one can go to like 150 miles per hour, but they have the same issue up there too. They don't have like the good infrastructure to hit those max speeds, so often it can go very slow. And before we got on the train, we just found a funny comparison on Uber. Oh yeah, so we had already bought the, the tickets, the train tickets, and then we were checking the, the Uber prices, we decided to do that, and we noticed that it's actually cheaper to travel from Fort Lauderdale to Miami by Uber. Yeah, I think it was $39 just the yeah. Uber ride. Yeah, so they serve you things here too. Alcoholic drinks, things like that. Kind of the same options if you want to top up. Oh, here too? No, but we're okay, thank you. Maybe M&M's. M&M? Yeah. Love your hair. Thank you. Yeah, so we're talking about the Uber comparison. It's a lot cheaper and the crazy thing is the Uber or just driving is quicker. It's 33 minutes right now anyway. That might be like without traffic. And this takes 38 minutes. So I just thought the high speed train would be a lot quicker. I mean, even now we're going, we've been going slow the whole time, haven't we? Yeah. So the only other time that we've gotten on a fast train was in Taiwan, like a year ago. And those bullet trains there, I think they can reach speeds 185 miles per hour but a lot of the time you're literally going that speed. So we crossed the entire country. That would be a four and a half hour drive and it just took like one hour. So yeah, that was like true high speed rail. got another beer, Wicked Weed Brewing. I think it's also a seasonal one. I think we're going a little faster now. The trees are whizzing by a bit quicker. Maybe it's the alcohol. Oh yeah. <laughs> I said to Carol, all you have to do is drink seven or eight beers and you almost get all your money back. So that's what you do to make it worth it. Eat and drink a lot. And I was reading last night about the high speed rail here in the US and apparently the government just approved funding of billions of dollars to this company Brightline to do a line that's going to go from Las Vegas in Nevada to Los Angeles, California. And currently I think that takes over four hours by car and the line that they're going to do is supposed to take around two hours. So I think it's going to be like real high speed. Yeah, so this menu is good because it shows the prices. So if we were in the normal carriage and we wanted a beer, $6. I've already had uh, three. I think that's my third one. I might get a sneaky fourth before we head out. <laughs> and Carol's wine, $10. So yeah, like I said, if you just had four of those, you'd leave wasted, but got all your money back. Good. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I've Good been deal. eating, eating and drinking the whole time. Yeah, Carol's gained some pounds. <laughs> we're putting these guys out of business. in Miami. I think this is the final stop. That was a proper good train ride though. Definitely beats an Uber, that's for sure. Oh, check out the high-tech toilet too. Yeah, everybody's gonna wanna travel on that thing when it's real high speed. Certainly beats planes or coaches, the other alternatives. Yeah, and I remember in Taiwan, uh, when we got, got the high-speed train, we searched for the flight and there was no flight anymore because the high-speed train was just do good. <laughs> Thank you. 
checked into our hotel now. The area that we're staying in is called South Beach and the place that we're staying in is called Century Hotel. I think it's a pretty good deal because it's 117 a night. That's for the both of us and it also includes breakfast. Give you some views of the street out here. Seems like there's not much traffic around here. Seems pretty laid back. And there's not too much to show you really, just a big bed, TV, and then the bathroom here, that's about it. Seems okay though for the price. So I think that this area of Miami is pretty expensive, so I think that that's a good deal. And right now we're gonna head out, the weather is absolutely beautiful, so we'll walk around the beach and there's the marina area behind us. We've also got an Amazon pickup to do nearby and we'll explain more about that later. So I think in the next video we'll have a proper beach day but we thought we might as well check out the beach since we're right here and look at this for a beach. So the last time we came to Miami Beach we didn't actually come here to check it out. We were planning to make a video here when we did the cruise from the port terminal nearby but then the weather was really bad when we came back to Miami. Man and this is winter. Yeah that's a really good winter for the US. We have weather like this, I think it's probably like around 23 degrees Celsius or even more. Just perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, for me like 23 degrees is just the best weather ever. You can go to the beach, you can walk around without sweating or anything. It's absolutely perfect. So if this is normal in the winters here, Miami is definitely the place to be in the winter in the US. So I meant mainland US by the way because obviously you have other places like the US Virgin Islands that we just went to, Hawaii which are pretty much beautiful all year round I think, Puerto Rico but yeah on the mainland I don't think you'll find many places like this in December, January. I think those are surfers aren't they? Yeah they're not not many waves but they're there waiting. Patiently waiting. It seems like there's some beach clubs here too. Music blasting. The awesome thing about Miami is kind of like a melting pot of yeah people from all over. So like the Caribbean, Central America, South America. The driver was Cuban. We were speaking Spanish with him. Yeah, he said that the majority of the Latinos here are from Cuba, but there are people from everywhere really. You just hear people speaking Spanish pretty much all the time. And Portuguese. Yeah, there are so many Brazilians here, like crazy. <laughs> All the time I hear Portuguese. The taxi driver also said he had uh, Brazilian friends that introduced him to the Brazilian churrascos, the Brazilian meat barbecues. <laughs> That's cool. So this is as south as we can go, South Point Park Pier. Yeah, we actually passed uh, through this channel a few months ago because we did a cruise. Virgin cruise. Cru Virgin cruise through the Caribbean, around some Caribbean islands and yeah we just passed here and we saw this big building. Yeah and here you can get some views of the whole beach. So from the cruise we could actually see it a bit better because we were so high. There's quite a few floors on the cruise.
So we've kind of like looped around now and we're heading into the marina area. Which I guess is where you have like the millionaire's boats. Maybe you don't have to be a millionaire, I'm not sure. Or maybe you do. Especially this building, look at this building too. I think this is definitely like a, a rich area of Miami. And when we were here on the cruise ship last time coming out, we saw that there were loads of islands in here. They seem to just be all like mansions, didn't they? Yeah, like very, very rich people live there, I think, or just have the houses. But I'm loving all the walkways around here. Lots of people on the bikes. I think those are rental bikes, people jogging, skating around, doing all sorts around here. It's the Rio de Janeiro of the US. <laughs> yeah, it, we were just saying, it's kind of like the Rio vibe. When you walk around Rio on the coast, it's always this cool vibe of people doing all sorts of activities. Real nice. So we're picking up our Amazon stuff now from the Amazon locker. It's actually inside a bank, Chase, Chase Bank. You have 12 packages. Wow. Open locker one. Number one of 12. Open locker nine. Oh. <laughs> I think we took over all the lockers. So that's something that we've had to do quite a few times since we're nomads. Sometimes it's annoying that we can't get sent products or things that we need like electronics, upgrades or something breaks and we need to replace it. But here in the US we can use the Amazon locker. I think we used it last time we came here. Yes we did and yeah, yeah you guys saw that there were like 12 packages but they put like big packages with just a few things inside and we didn't have that much. We had like some, like uh, I had a book and some Christmas uh, gifts for our parents. But all small. Yeah, and some small things. But like you said, we had that, uh, we had done this in the past, not only here, but also in Asia. I've done this, I think in, in Bangkok with Lazada, not Amazon. Didn't we walk through here last time? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, I'm like recognizing the place. Yeah, I really love like this Miami Beach area though. I think I just like seeing like the palm trees everywhere. Everywhere's really nice. I think last time we were here it wasn't really busy either with traffic, it's pretty chill. So be. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> So we're back in the hotel room now. As I mentioned before, we're gonna be making another video here around Miami. We're gonna to go to the beach properly. I might even try some surfing. I did that recently in the Dominican Republic. I'm pretty sure they should have like surfboard rentals somewhere on the beach. So I might do that tomorrow if the waves are good. And we're gonna do some other things too. And yeah, just show Miami a bit better. So if you enjoyed this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.